stop cold calling, start creating content, and I'm in a trash can. <laughs> Walk of Fame in Hollywood, and we have a live metaphor. And this is a great metaphor for why you should stop cold calling. Put this little stopper block right there. Ow! Because there's better ways. And we're gonna talk about some of those solutions on today's episode of The Daily Dub. Actually getting a return on their investment for all the time that they're taking to call these people. We have social media marketing and well, Facebook ads can be expensive too. That's the problem. I mean, I think the reason why people cold call is because they have really cheap leads. People in car sales and automotive sales, what they'll do is they'll do really hilarious videos. Go ballistic in a video and then they'll put that on social media and those go micro viral. So it's a sales guy that's just saying, you know what? I'm not gonna take myself too seriously and I'm gonna do a really funny video, put it on Facebook, and then just get everyone to share it because it's super entertaining to watch. And then that becomes their lead gen system. Of course, it's got their phone number in there and maybe a link, entertainment, that is lead gen. So that, that's like the modern version of those used car salesman ads on TV. Yeah, with like the donkey. Right, right, the right. used car salesman's like, you gotta get this. Really out there personalities, really. Like he's wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> the modern version of that is just yeah. putting it up on Facebook. Cold call solution right there. Be like a used car salesman on Facebook. The other thing that's kind of troublesome about calling is, are you building your brand up? Vast majority of them are gonna hang up on you. Have you built your brand up during that process? Video will exist forever, potentially, versus a call where you make a call and it's ephemeral. Gone, oh, we have a loud, look at that guy. He's having an interesting time. <laughs> is that just what you say when someone's just driving? <laughs> Anything's happening, I'm just like, oh, interesting time. Let's do bok choy, yeah, all right, we're cool. doing it. Eat bok choy every day. Really, really good bok choy. Wow. Good bok choy. 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 Bok choy. Like this photo right here. Like. Oh yeah. How is bok choy related to cold calling? We're getting a cold call right here. Here we go. Receive your medical brief. Cold call. No idea how they got my information. And they say if you want to be removed off our list. Hit nine, and of course I hit that every time, and every week they call me again. So we're gonna call them back. The number you dialed is not a working number. You call them back and no one answers. How do they get business from that? It's for Legion. So I think if you hit a certain button, you get added to a list. The reason why people still do it is because the numbers that they look at justify it. They, they do see an ROI on it. Here's my question, is there something that would work better? You could spend that time making content that's evergreen. What type of brand debt are they accruing? What is the opportunity cost when you pull call? Make videos, make content, put it out there on social media for people to see forever versus some ephemeral cold call. Probably the way to go. Bok choy was great. That was some really good bok choy. You know the bok choy? That was some good bok choy. You know, I was just thinking about what was that? Bok choy. And I was thinking, they brand their box. They should brand the box. Brand your box with your logo and rebrand your cold calls and social media posts. You know what I really enjoyed? The bok choy. The bok choy. <laughs> closers deserve bok choy. Bok choy deserves closers. Yeah. And that was some great bok choy. You know what was really good? <laughs> bok choy. We're closing out our quarter. Closing out the quarter. How'd you close out your quarter? Oh, how'd it? you close out your quarter? Oh, I hit my quota. Oh, I hit my quota too. We, oh, nice. we both had a quota We're on quota our quarter. Hitters. Oh, you hit your quarter. Here's me hitting my quota. Oh, oh. <laughs> cold calls and sales calls. That's an important distinction to make. Sales calls can be good, but cold calls. That's a really good distinction. There's relationship building and there's lead generation. I think the ideal place to be is in the relationship building, which ultimately turns to like a closing process. Yeah. But if you're in the lead generation mode, that's tough because then you gotta go find people you got a prospect and that's really tough. It's better to use your calling time for really building those relationships time that you were doing for cold calling to make content. There was one topic I really wanted to bring up and that is bok choy. Aye, we're back. <laughs> One, two, three. Stop, Stop cold, cold calling, calling, and what's the solution? Start creating content. Oh, build, build your brand. brand. Hey. Oh, yeah. Close more deals. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs> Vanity check for our video here. Mirror, but then I also realize it's probably a window. It's funny to think that there's someone on the other side of this window who is looking at, at me.